Are Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paul Gosar, and Lauren Boebert distractions to winning back the majority next year? Um, it's, it's things we would not want to deal with. It is, um, it is things that the American people want to focus on. Stopping inflation, gas prices, and others, and anything that deviates from that causes problems. Yes. Regarding uh, Representative Boebert's Islamophobic comments, um, are, why, why do you have such a hard time condemning something that is so clearly wrong? Let me be very I'm clear. I'm just speaking about this particular instance. Let me be very clear. This party is for anyone and everyone who craves freedom and supports religious liberty. Lauren Boebert, as I called her when it came forward, we talked. She apologized publicly. She apologized personally. I contacted Stinney Hoyer and um, even talked about maybe Stinney and I should be in the room. We should lower the temperature of this Congress. We should work together and talk to one another. In disagreements and something goes astray, you apologize for it. Exactly what Lauren Boebert did. What's interesting to me, and I didn't get to watch Speaker Pelosi's press conference, did any of you raise the question when someone on their side of the aisle said, I work with the Ku Klux Klan, referring to Republicans? Did anyone on your side of the aisle talk about when Omar said, the only reason I support Israel is about the Benjamins? I never got a public apology or a phone call. Or did anybody on your side of the aisle, I think you might have asked Speaker Pelosi about this one, when Congresswoman Omar referred to America and Taliban as equal, because I remember Speaker Pelosi saying something to the effect, and I could be wrong, but it was to the effect that she did not denounce her for saying that. So, I think when somebody does something that is wrong, they apologize. Lowen Bolbert apologized publicly and then picked up the phone and it took a lot of effort. She wanted to meet personally. Denied the ability to meet personally. When she picked up the phone and she called Congresswoman Omar, she said, I want to personally apologize to you. And that's what she did. I think in America, that's what we do. And then we move on on the issues that need to take place.